from the title, yes, I'm doing online school, but I want to kind of explain why and how I got to that point and just kind of what's going on. I'm one who loves school. I like going and just learning. And I'm always one that has taken school very seriously. It's always been like my number one thing that I've cared about. Now, I don't know if this is going to be through junior year or senior year. I'm going to see how I like it and then we would decide what would be the next step. Thank you for watching if you've made it this far and I'm excited to see what the future holds if I'm going to do it next year, if I'm going to be traveling more, but for right now, I feel like it's the best thing for me. A sophomore year, school morning routine. I'm on my way right now to school. Basically do part online and part high school. I am a junior and I do online classes. It's basically my biggest personality trait. I do online school, as I'm sure you guys know. Today I'm going to be doing, yet again, another day in my life of online school. My last official week of my junior year. Day of me filming what I do for my online school. Today is my first day of school. for me guys Good before luck. my final anything get that a today is my last day of high school ever ellie thuman the girl that has made way too many videos about online school and day in the life finals she's moving on she's graduating high school well i'm not graduating today graduation is later this summer still figuring out if it's happening or if it's gonna be online, which would be kind of fitting, honestly, for online high school. It is my last day of classes, meaning I have my last final exam, which is going to be in my English 12B class. But I want to take a minute to reflect on how high school has changed me as a person and helped me grow into who I am today. It's so weird because I had such a unique experience of it. I was able to go for a year and a half and have that normal high school public experience. And then I just switched to online because I was getting opportunities to travel and be in LA and my grades were suffering and it was really difficult because school has always been my number one priority. Um, ever since I was little, I've always taken it very seriously and been very hard on myself with it. And I was not doing that well my second semester sophomore year for missing all my classes. So I switched to online school and did two classes at that school for sophomore year. It was really hard because I was saying goodbye to my old life of going and seeing my friends, being a normal, normal high school student, or at least the normal that I knew. And it was challenging because then I felt like I didn't fit in to hang out with people that maybe I hung out with in high school. It just felt very isolating because no one else was doing what I was doing. I mean, I look back, I was doing school in places like Fiji and doing it in every possible airport because I was always needing to do school. And I've always been able to keep myself accountable and know that if I'm on a plane and I wanted to sleep or do something else, I had to buy that Wi-Fi and do my school. I knew that that was very important. With that, I also look at the growth I've had throughout high school, which is absolutely mind blowing to me. I look at who I was as an insecure 14 year old going into high school and the goals I had and things I wanted were just so different from what I want today. I know myself so much more and I'm my own friend now 
now. I was never my own friend back in the day. I wanted as many friends as possible just to fit in. I didn't know what I was doing. And I think that's normal for a freshman, but I think that having as much growth as I've had is so good because it shows that I'm evolving and growing up. Between 14 years old and 18 years old is so much. I just feel like a completely different person. And I think that online school has really shaped me into who I am today. I've been able to get closer with my sister who I fought with completely throughout our freshman year and even half of sophomore year of high school. And it's just ultimately put my priorities in different areas of what I value and who I am literally as a person, which sounds insane, but I mean that. I've been able to do so much through doing online school. And I'm also going to do a what's next because that's the big question right now. What is, what are you doing now that you're graduating? I have a plan and I'm excited to share it with you, but I want to do that in its own video. So that should be coming in the next two-ish weeks. But for now, it's my last day of high school and we're just gonna take my final and celebrate and, and live out that last day. It's crazy to think that this is my last time filming in this setup of me starting an online school video. Let's just go ahead and get this last day of high school started. Okay, let's go. All right, everybody, I have logged on to my school and there it is, my final exam, week six, baby. I have my coffee, I have my water, and I have my phone far away from me because there is absolutely no distractions during this. All right, so for some reason, of course, today I have my final, the internet is down. So we're gonna go ahead and play this lit game that is so fun. <laughs> Does this instead of taking my final? It's time to get serious. I need to figure out why the Wi-Fi is not working. Does anyone know why the Wi-Fi is not working? Dad, I have to take my final. It says literally no internet connection. I'm gonna fail my final if I do not log on. I'm really just gonna play this dinosaur game for the next two hours. Here we go. I have made it to the final and wow, it is 43 questions. I did the essay part of it yesterday. All right, I'll see you after. Okay, everybody, I just finished the final. I have not hit submit yet and I'm gonna do this on camera to see what we got. <gasps> I got a 90. I keep my A. I did not think I was gonna get that. Guess what? I guess what grade I got on the on the final. What'd you get? I got a 90. What? We need to go celebrate. Oh my god. I'm done with high school. Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh my gosh. What? Mommy. Mom. Every single picture. Me in middle school. Yeah. And then me my first two years of high school. Wait, was this preschool? Uh, those are preschool. That's preschool. Thank oh, you. Final. That final was hard. <laughs> now hotter by one degree. <laughs> Why are you the best ever? Senior 2020 hashtag quarantine with toilet paper. You're coming to Pink Tree? <laughs> this is graduation. <laughs> I have not had a pink drink from Starbucks in months. Hey! Thought we'd have a cookout. I made pasta salad. I was gonna put a watermelon. Got you your gluten free buns and hot dogs. Yeah, let's take you getting better and better. Our veggie hot dogs. These are vegetarian and so good from Sprouts. Gluten-free bun, mom's homemade gluten-free pasta salad. See, we have uh, we were raised to put onion and mustard on our hot dogs and people who put ketchup on them make me really uncomfortable or when they do both. People like hate on us for mustard and onion. They're like, we've always been like weird I'm sorry, like it's the best. Please let me know if you're team mustard and onion on your hot dog. Okay, we're gonna eat, cheers. So we have just been by the pool for the past couple hours here and now we're gonna get ready and do our picnic. I wanted to show you because I feel like we do so many different kinds of picnics in the backyard. We have some fun pink lemonade, some cute little glasses, a picnic basket, our little cheese boards. I'm going to touch up my makeup because I sweat it all off outside and pick out my outfits. I think I have some options here. Me walking around my house in this literally all day for no reason. <laughs> We've made it to the picnic spot. I'm gonna pee my pants and I can't hold it, so I'm gonna need to find somewhere where I'm praying there's not snakes to, oh God, where I can 
pee. I hear a lot of different noises. Reality of doing a trendy picnic. The picnic is off to great start. Aaron smashed one of the really nice glasses that my mom's had for 30 years. Picnic. Shout out to Erin, this was all her idea, but we have our fruit, which has been getting devoured by bugs, the pink lemonade, the lemons. And here we are taking some last day of school pics, even though I have senior pictures coming soon. I feel like I'm taking senior pictures, but that's not what's happening. Yay! It is time to head home and eat something for dinner. That was our picnic, all cleaned up now. All right, that's about it, see you at home. We're now home and I am literally exhausted from this day. I will go ahead and finish up this video tomorrow. Hello? So my audio on my computer is really messed up right now and obviously I can't take it to the store. So we're just doing this for now. But I wanted to come on and end this video. It is the next day and I'm just so thankful that my whole family was so kind and made it such a fun day and my mom decorated and Aaron bought me a pink drink. Thank you guys so much for watching this and stay tuned for more updates on what's going on. It's weird. I'm not a high schooler anymore. I mean, I guess I am until I technically graduate, but all right, I will see you guys next Next weekend. Mwah. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.